Hello everybody, like really sweet here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to solve the pyramid rings. So this is a beginner's method. Um, if you just got your pyramid rings and you weren't knowing how to solve it, or you've had a pyramid rings and uh, you still don't know how to solve it, and this tutorial is for you. I will teach you the most basic way to solve it. Uh, so let's get right into it. So of course you need to first scramble it up. Okay, here we go. Now the first step is uh, you're going to line up all the centers. And so when I say center, I mean this piece and these three pieces in the middle. Um, and you see this piece, this sticker, this sticker, and this sticker. That is all one piece right there. You see it's connected in the inner part. So yeah, this is all one piece right here. <clears throat> and so this is one center piece. And then also this is one edge piece. So these three pieces are edges. And these are just the tips. Uh, once you line them up with their center pieces, uh, they will not be able to be undone uh, unless you turn them directly. So, first step is to just solve the tips. Just like that. And you see all the tips are solved and they're all lined up with the centers. The next step is you're going to line up all these centers with each other. And so you see uh, here are all the centers and you're basically going to make it so each uh, center on one face are the same color and it's going to be like that on every face. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at one of the center pieces. I'll just take a look at this one. And you're going to see if it has yellow on it. We're just going to start with yellow as the first face because it's easiest like that. Um, and so you see this one has yellow on it. Now we'll look at another one. And what we're trying to find is a piece that does not have yellow on it. And so this one does, this one does, this one does, and that means that this one is the only one that does not. And so, once you find the center piece that doesn't have yellow on it, you put that at the bottom, and then the opposite face from that uh, center piece will be the yellow side. And so, you can just turn each of these axes until the yellow pieces line up. You see right there. And then we'll have all the yellow solved. And we can just turn the whole thing around, and then you can just turn this last side until it lines up. And so all these center parts will be solved. Okay, so the next step is we are going to put each of these edges in place. And there's one uh, quick algorithm that you can do to swap around these pieces, and it basically looks like this. There are different variants of it, and they can be used in different ways to get different pieces in different places. Uh, but that's uh, irrelevant. Let's just get started. So we're going to leave the yellow face for last. So we're just going to set that on the bottom. Now since these three edges are last, these three edges are first. So we're just going to put each of those in. So what we're going to do is just look around the cube and look for a spot where one of the pieces that needs to go in one of these slots is right next to the slot that it needs to go in. And so basically what I mean by that is like this piece. This piece needs to go right here and it's right next to the slot that it needs to go in. So you can just bring it up and it'll be in the right spot. And so what we would do is we would bring it up and then we would bring this other side and move it out of the way and so and then we're gonna bring this side back down but we're gonna move it out of the way and so that piece doesn't get messed up when we bring this side back down so you see we'll bring that side back down and then we have to put this side back just like that but you see there's a problem here this piece is flipped the wrong direction and you can fix that at the end but it's uh, easier just to undo that and actually we're going to do a slightly different algorithm so instead of putting the piece in just like that, we're actually going to put this piece into this slot. Before we can put it into this slot, we have to move it so the slot that we want to get it is in that position. So you see, just like that. And you see the slot that we want to get it into is in the correct position. And now we can bring it up, and it will be aligned, just like that. And then we can bring back the first side, and then bring that side back and it will be in the correct position. Okay, so don't worry if you don't completely understand that. I'm going to be going over it a little bit more uh, soon. So we're going to try and get these two pieces in now. And you see, um, if we look around, there's no pieces that are directly next to either of these slots that need to go there. And so they're actually both on the bottom there. And so what we can do is we can actually put a piece that needs to go in one of these slots into a slot that's next to it. So Here's a piece that needs to go into that slot. 
and if we were to put it right here, it would be next to it. So that's what we'll do. So we'll put it in, move that out of the way, put it back, and then bring that one back. And now you see that it is next to the piece that it needs to go into. And now you see, again, it is backwards if we put it in, but it's happened uh, two times so far. Uh, so what we can do is just move the slot that it needs to go to into a position where it would line up correctly. So like that. Bring it up. Bring that back. And that back. Just like that. Okay, so now for the last piece of these three. And if we look around to see where this piece is, because we need to get it into one of these two slots, it's actually down here. So we can just uh, put it in one of the slots. I'll just put it in here. So there. Move it out of the way. Back and back. And you see right here. And so it needs to go right into that slot. But there's a problem here. If we were to do that like normal, and bring that so we can bring it up, and then we do bring it up, and bring it back. Now you see, when we put this piece back like that, it'll actually mess up the piece that we put in before. So let's not do that. Uh, actually what we will do is we'll bring the two pieces, the slot and the piece that we need to sw switch with each other, to the bottom layer, just like that. So that's kind of a set it move. Now we can do the same moves to get this piece to that slot. So we move it into a good position, put it in, move that back and that back, and then we did that setup move at the beginning, and we can just bring it back. And you see now all three of these pieces are in. Okay, so I know that may have been a little bit confusing, so I'll go through one more quick walkthrough. So once we have all the center pieces lined up, uh, we will do the pieces opposite of the yellow. So, let's look around. And I see right here, this piece, just go right up to there. And so this is a different case than the case that we've been getting so far. And in this case, we can just put it right into its spot. So what we can do is just uh, move that out of the way. And so we can bring this step back down safely. And we do bring it back down. And just bring that back. And you see the piece is in. And then we can go and look around for another one. Here it is. And this one we can't put it directly in. So first we have to move this so the slot lines up and we can put it directly in. Then we'll bring that back and that back. And you see two of the three pieces are in. And now we can uh, put the last piece in. And so you see it's not in either of the slots directly next to it. So we can put it in one of them. Right there and it's directly next to it. And uh, before, we can't just do that because, again, it would be breaking the other pieces that we put in. So first, we'll bring it down, and then we can do that, and then bring it back up, and we have all these three. So if any of that didn't really make sense to you, uh, you can go back and watch through that. And really, you can just use a little bit of common sense and just uh, do the algorithm, like uh, down, down, up, up alternating and use common sense it'll just cycle the three pieces around so it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it so now the last step uh, it's pretty easy too um, basically you'll just hold it so the yellow face is like this in front of you and then you'll do a variant of the algorithm which is basically just down 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 so yeah do either one of those algorithms and then take a look at it and see if each of the pieces are in the correct place. And you see they are not, so do the same algorithm again. And you see now each of the pieces are in the correct place. Just these two pieces need to be flipped. So once you've gotten into a position where just these two pieces need to be flipped, you can simply do a move like this. Move the left one first, move going down. Then the right one going down. And the left one going up. And the right one going up. And then rotate the whole cube like this, or the pyramid. <laughs> and then put the right one down instead of the left one. And the left one down. Right one down. I mean, right one up and then left one up. And you see, all the pieces will be solved. So yeah, you have now successfully completely solved your pyraminx. I hope this version helped you. I actually remade it uh, because last one I didn't explain it very well. And if there's anything that I didn't explain well enough for you, Leave a comment below, and I will explain it to you in the comments as best I can. Um, and if you have any other questions or comments about this video, 
uh, you can leave them in the comments and I'll try and help you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Just these two pieces need to be flopped. Just to <laughs> flopped. <laughs> Fail.